So XRP went to $2 today on Mexi. Mexi is a smaller exchange known for having uh, a vast quantity of altcoins available that the larger exchanges do not usually have more ICOs, small caps, things like that. But you see here, XRP went to $2. This was a very fast, what you would call a flash pump, not a flash crash on the Mexi exchange. Um, you know, this is more than likely some form of technicality on the back end system when it comes to their, uh, you know, their technology at the Mex C headquarters. But, you know, we've always said that something like this could probably happen as there could be supply shocks and things like that. Um, and, you know, I will say doing some trading on some of these smaller DEXs you know, uh, you'll see things like this. It's quite normal when there's a bit of a supply shock on the decks. But to see things like this on a centralized exchange that, you know, should have millions of dollars worth of XRP has me kind of thinking, you know, is there something going on behind the scenes that we in the public are not really privy to, right? Now, I like to focus on studying xrp's technology in my opinion i don't like to get caught up in he say she say speculation so to say but we can speculate from time to time and so i'm going to speculate a little bit right here what's going on so we've seen a lot of you know bullish narratives happening for xrp lately we've seen the cme posting multiple things going on in the court systems when it comes to regulatory clarity so the battlefield that once was is starting to clear up. And in, in reality, if there was a legion of institutions chomping at the bit to get this digital asset that they are going to pull together to, you know, basically provide institutional DeFi services at large at scale, you know, could some insiders be, you know, chomping at the bit to fill up their cold storage when it comes to the digital asset XRP. Bitcoin being the leader in the crypto market at current times, you know, the head honcho at the time. It's nothing to see Bitcoin pump, but this right here is over 100%, right? All the way up to $2 as you see it here. Um, so, you know, all we can do is speculate. Is there a legion of institutions and insiders willing to go to offshore exchanges to buy up vast quantities of XRP. And did they cause this price spike, this flash pump, right? Because the only time I've ever seen things like this is when I'm buying things on DEXs that have low liquidity, low volume, low supply on the DEX. You'll see these flash like pumps, right? I was, I'm into Flare Network and their project on kinetic the lending and borrowing platform on kinetic uh and i was having to buy the jewel token and i had to buy it using flare so i sent some usdt over to this really small exchange uh and you know i was buying it on my own and you know you are literally moving the market and i got the first hand view of what it looks like what it feels like to be a large buyer in a market and so to me this is not a glitch this was a large buyer buying xrp price goes up they take away the uh buy orders and it comes right back down and so that's kind of what i experienced not even what about three days ago now on a small exchange that only has a little bit of flair and a little bit of jewel token that i was looking to get into this channel right here we are specifically focused on enterprise adoption when it comes to cryptocurrencies. And that's why we've been laser focused on the XRP ledger for quite some time now, as I think, in my opinion, it is next level market in infrastructure. And, you know, Ripple, the main company building out on the XRP ledger, does a lot of things behind closed doors that we can literally only speculate about, right? And so, this is a bit of speculation for me. Uh, why would it only go to $2 on one exchange? I think there might be a wealthy insider trying to, uh, trying to load the boat 
so to say, before uh, the green flag for institutional adoption begins and the biggest bull run in history and the adoption curve of cryptocurrency happens right before our face. So I want to get into some more subjects that are quite on the head when it comes to what we just noticed. As you see, my internet is quite slow, but we have Smoke Dog here. When the volatility of XRP subsides, banks can hold Ripple's digital asset on their own balance sheet. So would it be somebody that is in on these closed door meetings that caused that style of price pump? As you see here, it says, and then consolidate all of their liquidity into one pool as they utilize XRP as a universal bridge asset. Now, this is institutional DeFi. All of the banks and institutions that hold XRP on their balance sheet will be able to provide liquidity and what looks to be as this document is referencing a private liquidity pool uh, where they will be engaging in DeFi services. Now, of course, if institutions are using XRP behind the scenes for DeFi financial on-chain financial services, you could expect the public market for XRP to take off as well. And if there's wealthy enough individuals, because a lot of these bankers are in the billions, you would see crazy price spikes like we saw today on MEXC, XRP all the way to $2. And so, you know, these documents like this, um, shout out to Smoke as always, Smoke. Um, great find here. Let's read it a little bit. It was bigger on the last screen. It says, Ripple offers to solve this solution by enabling real-time borderless value exchange by providing liquidity on demand and reducing costs associated with treasury payments and operations. Now, we've been talking about treasury operations for quite some time. As payments is a major, major use case, treasury being another major, major use cases. Large corporations have multi-millions of dollars on their balance sheets and if they have you know if they're an international company the banking system at current is fragmented and that is one of the things that distributed ledger technology is supposed to be tackling is fragmented liquidity so we could only speculate that behind closed doors in these meetings with these 1700 ndas that ripple has signed that some percent of them have agreed to this business model. That business model being you buy XRP, you buy XRP, Ripple continues to hold some XRP. We pull it together and we start to shoot these payments through it, right? And so you're acquiring the fees of the payments. And so that's the business model very simply, right? It's what we do as DeFi enthusiasts, right? We literally are providing liquidity to the public blockchain markets. As you see here, I posted it again. This is the private group right here where we're teaching about DeFi. Okay, in the Academy tab, we have DeFi courses tailored specifically for you. And uh, this is what we do as well. So it would be the same exact business model, which is why I feel comfortable speculating. Look at this. all the way up to $2 here. Now in the past, we've seen things like this, right? Um, but I wanna say something, a lot of these old glitches, quote unquote, that people used to talk about with XRP would really just be somebody would click on Bitcoin and then they'd switch over to XRP really quick, screenshot it, and XRP would still be showing uh, the price of Bitcoin, right? And that's how they're doing the glitches. Now you see this chart right here is XRP on Binance. Or no, this is the KuCoin chart, right? The KuCoin chart does not have the price flash, but MEXC, boom, has the price flash. Look at that sucker. I mean, that's a God candle if I've ever seen one. Came back down. 
This means that there was an amount of liquidity up here that some large whale must have felt comfortable or it just ate up all the liquidity on MEXC up to $2, came right back down, and it's continuing on in this bullish pattern. Now, this bullish pattern right here says that we should get another pump out of XRP. As long as it stays in this pattern, it should do this. So are we going to see 82 cents soon? It's looking like XRP is going to be the leader in institutional adoption. And I think the leader in institutional adoption will be a top three uh, blockchain project from here on out. So could we see XRP regain, regain that top one, that top two, that top three over the coming months, over the coming years as cryptocurrency gets the green light to become a legitimate asset? Now, don't get me wrong. I like Bitcoin. I like the technology in general. I'm an enthusiast when it comes to crypto. I'm an enthusiast when it comes to DeFi. But XRP is different. It's always been different. And with the Flare network off to the side and the new EVM side chain um, and everything going on with XRP, I mean, it's, I mean, let's be real here. This is why I'm here. Because I believe it is the most lucrative play in crypto uh, currency. It doesn't mean it's the fastest play that's going to happen overnight. Doesn't mean any of that. Although we have obviously seen some crazy stuff, right? I don't speculate often, but when I do, right? Like the meme, when I do, I want it to be educated speculation, right? We're all about education over here. My new saying for this channel is we are the one-stop shop. Not the one-stop shop, sorry. That's Ripple. Ripple is the one-stop shop for XRP Ledger uh, when it comes to DeFi services, on-chain finance, and payments. This channel, DCA, we are the educational hub for XRP Ledger, right? And that's what we do over here. We are super into XRP. This is my biggest holding, always been my biggest holding, always been my number one conviction. I tear up when I see David Schwartz get on stage. Like, I'm being serious. I'm not even trying to... Uh, make jokes here but you know what do you think i think this was a whale an insider maybe some banker from overseas and he was cool with buying it up to two dollars right because if there was liquidity if there was enough liquidity for sale up here right because obviously it shows that a lot of people have sell orders for the bull run up here at two dollars the amount he was trying to get, right, was probably filling them some orders here, filling some orders here, filling some orders here. The amount this whale was grabbing, he was fine with grabbing it up here at the $2 range. And if it was somebody from the closed door NDA meetings, then you can expect that the price is going to be much higher than $2. Think about it. If you're a whale and you're loading up for the long run because you know what this stuff is about to be, you know it is about to be used as a global layer one, a global source for liquidity, payments, borrowing and lending, on-chain finance, global adoption of institutional DeFi, and you hold billions of dollars in other assets, you might be okay with buying a million or two at two bucks. Right, right. I mean, like I said, this is an educated speculation video. But I haven't seen anybody talking about this on X. I did post it. Like I said, I have family in today in this in today. We're seeing a lot going on, right? Smoke's been on fire. I've been super busy, so I haven't been able to really look at what's going on. He found this document from uh the B of R as you see here, R-U-S-S-I-A. You can see here they are explaining the use case for the bridge asset. 
see Bitcoin over here, Mexican peso, dollars, euros, yuan. I mean, you're able to go through all of it. All we can do is speculate, right? As much as I wish I was a fly on the wall in those meetings with Ripple, all we can do is speculate. And I'll bring my family up right here, right? You may or may not know, and I'm really getting tired of talking about it as it kind of bugs me to talk about this. I don't really enjoy it. My family owns an owns and operates an international chain of casinos. We do billions of dollars a year. Now, I turn 32 next week. I have cousins that are on the executive board. You know, sometimes they tell me what's going on. But the majority of time, I don't know what's going on. I get a few meetings a year to kind of look at the balance sheet, what's going on. But for 90% of the time, I'm left clueless and all I can do is speculate, right? When we opened up our new casino in Chicago, we're now the, uh, the, the casino for the Chicago Bulls. We have a partnership with the Chicago Bulls now. When we opened up our casino in Aruba and we bought the private island, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't know about any of it, right? And so it's kind of the same when it comes to XRP Ledger. All we can do is study research, institutional documentation, study the technology and really find what's valuable in it for ourselves. And by doing that, you know, if we find value in it and we're OK, right, like I'm OK holding a DeFi bag in the XRP ledger of one hundred thousand dollars, making 20, 30 K a year, living off the 20, 30 K like that to me, that's a game changer, like. I'm so happy to be able to do that because it does. It means I don't have to slave away at a job somewhere, right? With a horrible boss. I get to make money in the industry I love. And then I get to come here to the private group and teach it back to people. Wherever the private group went right here, right? Literally through simple videos. And so long story short, all we can do is speculate really about what Ripple how how large are they about to scale this? How large are they about to scale this? Because if there's some whale somewhere that's okay with purchasing XRP at a high price, as a matter of fact, I'll show you what I did. Let's see. It's not on this one. Dang. It was on that pro bit. Uh, wrong one. Here we go. On pro bit, you go to the exchange. So here's the jewel token. But we'll have to go to flare. Look, all right, so you see these big candles it, like that? Somebody bought something up here. Maybe they didn't mean to, but they did, right? As we see jewel been on a tear, I got in somewhere around here. I'm making a lot of money on Jewel right now, but I'm in Jewel for the long term. Look, it's wanting to go up some more. I mean, this thing has been, just been crazy. But it has real utility and it's on a legitimate blockchain, Flare. 191%. But you see these large spikes in the price? Somebody bought that, right? Somebody bought that or sold some of it there. Look at Flare. I'll show you guys. I pumped the price of Flare on this exchange right there. That was me pumping that price. This little line. And I know I was buying through here. I was buying in the 20 cent area because I really wanted Flare so I could turn it into Jewel. 
I got the flare and then I swapped it for Jewel on the flare blockchain uh, decks. I think it's Spark decks. Swapped it over there and uh, left. And now a few days later, the price is still 18, right? It's 18 cent across the board on the big uh, centralized exchanges. But for that split second or that, you know, 10 minutes, when it's split second, it's about 10 minutes. It took me about 10 minutes. It pumped the price up here. And out there, 24 cents, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not buying no more up there. Flare is 18 cents everywhere else. I'll just buy it on Coinbase. And so the price came back down. So I'm thinking some whale somewhere was completely okay with buying XRP all the way up to $2. What do you think? Anyways, guys, all the links are in the bio. If you're interested in joining the community, we are a community of educators. We do this every day. Super passionate about it. As you see, there's my little dream truck, <laughs> a little manifestation truck. Here's the group. The link is in the bio. We go over everything. Let's DeFi part 101 or part one. Crypto due diligence. 10 topics to consider. When to take profits in DeFi. Uh, yeah, we have a chat section just like Twitter. Get on here. Chat it up. Talk to us. That's where I just posted that XRP went to $2 today on, on MEXC. Insane, guys. Insane. What do you think? Let me know in the in the bio if you were in those meetings and you were a multi-millionaire banker would you be okay with buying xrp up to two dollars if you knew what was about to happen all right guys institutional DeFi, institutional grade payments on the way for ripple and xrp holders around the world will finally be able to rejoice as this comes into being all right guys we will see you on the next one peace